Hi, in this video I would like to show you how you can generate Word or PDF documents using custom document templates uh, in your Bubble application. So let's get started. First of all, uh, this is my sample Bubble application. Here I have like a really simple uh, view with like two fields, input fields. One will be name, second will be age. And I have also a description field, which is a multi-line input. And here, here I have a button. Uh, whenever I click it, I want to pass the data from Bubble application and generate document based on my needs and based on my document template. To do that, I will use Documentary application. Uh, this is a separate app. I already created an account here. So here in this app, you can create a document template that then you can use them to generate documents on the Bubble platform. So let's try it. So first of all, I will create a simple template on this platform. Um, I have a sample document here. Just to keep it simple, I will delete most of the data. I will just leave these two fields here in the curly brackets. And I will add one more of description uh, I will style it as a heading element okay and here we go so I have like a three fields in this document template and I can just save it in the platform And after a few seconds, the platform should analyze the template and add it to my template list. Okay, here it is. I can see three fields detected. I can go to template overview and I can see my three fields here. So this is all we need to do on the documentary side. So here I will go back to Bubble.io uh build ui builder and i will go to plugins and i will add documentary plugin so let me search for it here we have a plugin i just install it uh, and here as you can see we need to provide api key so to do that i need to go to my account and here I can copy my API key to the configuration of the plugin. Okay, that's it, it's configured. So already Bubble is connected to Documentero. So I can try use the plugin on my application. So I will go back to the design part. And here uh, I will double click and I will add new workflow. So as you can see already, this is pre-populated. So whenever the button create document is clicked, I can do some action. And here I can click on this and I can find action from my uh, installed plugin. So here, if I go to plugins, I can see I have two actions from Documentero. So generate docx PDF or generate docx PDF and send a similar attachment. For now, I will pick the first option. Okay. Cool, and I can see the configuration panel here. So uh, I need to provide output format, docx or PDF. I will select PDF. I need to provide template ID and the JSON data I would like to pass to my document. So to do that, we will go back to the Documentero platform. I will go back to my template and I will go to generate from API. And here in this section, I can see all the data that I need. So here I can see my document identifier. I will copy this here, okay? And also I can see a preview of the data that uh, Documentaro ex expects to be filled in to generate document properly, okay? Okay, here we go. So this is a data that will be passed and used to generate document. And obviously I would like to have some dynamic data uh, from my application to appear in this document. So here 
I will replace these parts with input name value and just to be on the safe side I will always add this formatted as JSON safe format so yeah so here we, we just mapped like a first field I will I will select another one click insert dynamic data and also I will replace this with input age value and I will do the same for the third field this is multi line input okay I will get the value and again format it as JSON safe format okay so I just mapped like all three fields from my input boxes to the JSON data that this action requires me to provide when I want to generate uh, generate this document on the template that I just created in Documenter. So, okay, assuming that we fill in everything properly, uh, I will add one more action after it, and this will be open external website. This this will just navigate the link that I will provide, and here we here we put the result of the step uh, step one. So result the document. The result of the document generation uh, will get that document download URL. So if I navigate the user to this download URL, this will uh, this will cause the, the the download document on the on the user application. So here I just map it, and we have a flow. So uh, whenever the button create document is clicked, uh, there is an action from the plugin. Uh, we map all the data and then when the document is generated and the URL is generated we are navigating to this URL to download the document on the application so uh, let's give it a try and let's see if it's doing what it's supposed to do okay I can see preview of my application I will put some Sample data, John 35, and here I will put some sentence. Okay, I put some random data and I'm clicking create document. And what is happening right now, my action is um, being performed and the commenter is creating a document. And after a few seconds, Yeah, I can see that my document is generated and they and me as a user clicking the, the link, I, I see that my document is downloaded. Let's see the document. Okay, I can see all the data filled in here. Okay, that would be it uh, for the first part. Thank you and and if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask in the comment section.